this site can't be reached the website unexpectedly closed the connection so I'm going to help you fix this issue regardless if you're in Google Chrome or Firefox or whatever browser that you're in in the Windows operating system Windows 10 11 so first thing I want you to do is make sure that the router is working or the internet service that you're using is actually working so test another device on that router and see if like you can connect another laptop or a phone to it if not then you know the issue is probably not with your uh, with your device and if it is not connecting because of the router just disconnect it from the wall for about a good five to ten minutes reconnect it and then see if you're able to get connected next thing what I want you to do is usually a lot of times the time is incorrect on your computer especially if you have like a laptop what will happen is the CMOS battery will go bad in the laptop and that's like a little watch battery and what will happen is it will automatically change the time to a different time so regardless if you are in a laptop or a desktop double click on the time and the date on the very bottom right of your screen and then see if the time and the dates correct and the time zone because that's important as well and then restart your browser next after you've tried that what I want you to do is restart the DNS client and so what that is is that's basically the temporary memory in your computer so what you're going to do is you want to do a simple run command and to do that you're just going to hold down the Microsoft key on your keyboard and hit R again that's the Windows key on the very bottom left and then hit R as in Ralph and then that's going to bring up the run command type in services.msc right here and that's going to bring up a whole row when you see DNS client right click it on your mouse right click and left click restart if that is an option if it's not an option just choose refresh and then restart your browser and then see if you're able to get into a web page okay next thing I want you to do is clear the browser cache that's basically the temporary memory in the browser itself and so I'm going to show you on Google Chrome if you have another browser just look up how to do that but on Chrome you would hit the three little dots up here and then on the very far left you in settings you want to hit privacy and security and then from here what you want to do is you want to click clear browsing data you want to select all of these one two three cache all this cookies and then clear data that might take a few minutes restart the browser and then try again next after you've tried that what we're going to do is we're going to do a reset and cleanup so for example in Chrome we go to the back to the upper right hit the three little dots on the very far left on the bottom click reset and clean up that should take a few minutes and then after you do a cleanup click restore settings to the original default then restart the browser and then see if you're able to get connected next thing I want you to do is try a different browser in general so if you're using Chrome try Firefox if you're using Firefox try Opera or Chrome okay if that doesn't work try and then most Windows operating systems have Microsoft Edge that comes with Windows 10 or 11 go ahead and see if you can use that and if you can if you're having a problem let's say with Chrome uninstall Google Chrome from your computer and of course you just do that under programs in Windows uninstall it and then reinstall it through the the edge browser and then that may fix your issue next thing what I want you to do is to is to temporarily disable any extensions that's like you know ad block or whatever there may be some running that you're not aware of so for example with Chrome we, we click on the three little dots up here we go down to more tools and then we go to extensions and then from here what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go ahead and disable by clicking this and making sure it's gray 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 and that one's blue so we'd make that gray and then X out of your browser and then see if you're able to get in next thing you want to do is do an update on your Chrome so or your browser so for example with Chrome again we hit the three little dots up here go to help and then go to about Google Chrome and as soon as you do that it will automatically start updating and you'll see a cursor with the percentage in the very center of the screen all right I appreciate you watching